Hello and welcome to Richland Community Library's Kids in Canvas Online with Miss Carrie. Today we are going to make a llama. So what you're going to need is a canvas or canvas paper, a pencil, um, some a variety of size brushes, and some paint. Today I'm going to go with black and white, a cream color, purple, teal, and pink. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is draw our llama. We are gonna start with the head and the head is kind of like an oval-ish color or shape, not color, an oval-ish shape. You don't want it taking up the whole thing so directly in the center would be great. And then it has another ovalish shape for the snout. And I am going to give mine a heart shaped nose. You can do the same if you'd like. And then from there, his mouth comes down like this. His eyes are going to be like a flat oval on the top, like a half oval shape. You could make it more of an almond shape if you want, but this is the shape I think I'm gonna go with. And it doesn't have to be perfect right now. Then we need the ears, which kind of come out like this. And they kind of go back out like that. I know that's not really any type of direction for you, but start small at the top and then it kind of goes out a little bit, just like so. Then it needs a neck, so they're long and skinny, right? Just like that. Now we have the basic shape for our llama. So the next thing we're going to do is the background. So choose a background. Today I'm going to use purple and white. Um, I'm going to kind of do dark at the bottom and make it lighter at the top as we go. So I'm going to actually start with a little bit of white. and I'm going to choose where I want it to start to lighten to lighten up. Okay, so I'm just gonna cover it, cover it with white, or you can use cream color too if you want. We'll see what the difference is um, once the paint gets up there. So I'll do one side cream, one side white. We'll, we'll see what the difference is. Without washing my brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and start with my purple. And we're just gonna keep adding purple as we go up. And I think I'm going to use my bigger brush because this is gonna take a long time. So I'm gonna switch. Cleaning my brush really good. Now we can see how much faster we can go with that, making sure my brush is clean and dry. All right, now let's take a look at what we can do.
Okay, so now that we're done with our background, we are going to give our llama a once over with some white. So with your medium sized brush, clean and dry, we're just gonna give the llama a whole once over with white. So covering everything. I'll start down here at the bottom and we're just gonna work our way up and then try not to get too much of the edges at the moment because we're gonna let our background dry before we do more with the edges. Okay, so just a good once over. Nice and thin, it does not have to be a thick coat. But this is just the first base layer. So now that we have our base layer in there, I am going to make a nice <clears throat> light gray by mixing some black and some white. I already have some black over here, so I'm just gonna move a glob of white and then just lightly dip the end into the black because you don't need much to make a gray. In fact, that is not even as light as I would like it. So I'm gonna wash my brush, dry it, grab some more white. <clears throat> okay, that should be light enough, I think. That's a nice light gray. I'm going to fill in around his nose with gray. So I don't want to go over his nose. You should be able to, unless your white was really thick, you should be able to see your pencil marks through your white. So just go really slow around his mouth. and then maybe get out your detail brush to go up and around his nose. All right, so now that we've gotten that done, we're gonna give the llama another once over. By now, your, your background should be mostly dry. Mine obviously is not all the way dry, but I will fix that little spot. There we go. Um, and we're gonna do a little bit of wafts of hair or fur, okay? So as we are using our medium sized brush with the white, we are gonna go, you can make another layer to make it wider. Nice, nice and thick even if you'd like. And I want you to take your brush just along the sides to make them a little furry, okay? You want to make sure that if your background is not dry that you are rinsing your brush so that 
you're not getting a bunch of purple inside your fur. Just like that, okay? And make it nice and thick in here. And do the same for the rest of your llama. And then for his ears, you can make them slightly furry out this way and maybe up this way. Just like that. And then do a once over on his forehead. Maybe you want him to be a little fuzzy up there. And then just go around the eyes so that you don't cover them up completely. All right, so we're getting there. Now we are going to do some of the detail work here. So we're gonna make the neck and the face a little discernible. So I want you to take some of your gray and just kind of bring down some whiskers from that neck area just to give it kind of a shadow. It doesn't have to be super dark. Just like that. And if you want even a little bit darker, you can go a little bit darker on some of that because, you know, he's a white llama. He's probably a little bit grubby. So we can, we can do it just like that. All right, so let's get to the work on the details. So his nose is going to be pink. So I'm going to take that pink. I'm going to cover in his heart shaped nose. Just like that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is the eyes. So again, I think I'm gonna stick with my detail brush only because my medium-sized brush is a little wider um, than I would like for my eyes. And the eyes are gonna be black, so you don't need a ton on there just to, to make it all the way over. And down and around. And you're just going to want a nice, smooth layer for your eyes. There's one eye. Fill in this other eye. that eye just a little bit bigger. Just like that. I'm gonna rinse my brush off real quick. Some things you can do for more detail um, with a nice smooth brush, maybe get a little bit of water on your black just to make it nice and smooth. 
you can give your llama some eyelashes. So we're gonna do that real quick. You want it nice and smooth so it runs right off your brush really nice. So it's not super thick, but you can give them some eyelashes out there. Maybe some eyelashes on the other one. It would look really weird if he only had eyelashes on one side, wouldn't it? Just like that. Then we're gonna make a mouth. Just like that. Now we're gonna add a little bit of pink to the ears and just uh, for the inside of the ear. So that's like a little triangle. It doesn't have to be super thick. In fact, if it's a little bit uh, transparent, that's okay too. So there's one, I'll do the other one. And then if it's too bright for you, you can go ahead and add some white lighten it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be super dark. And then with your medium sized brush, we're gonna add some more fur, and then we're almost done. So I'm gonna pick some up. We're gonna go back through and kind of make that fur, making sure not to hit my black that's still wet. But we wanna make sure that we're getting the furriness aspect and Lighten up the pink down here at the bottom of the ears. So for the eyes, you just need some white and your detail brush. And you just wanna give it some reflection, just like that. And you may even want to give a little bit of a reflection in the nose if you want to. Um, it's too much, obviously add some more pink. And it'll lighten up just like so. Just like that. There we go. All right. So if you wanted to do a flower for your llama, you want a nice dry brush. You want to make sure that your black is mostly dry so you're not dragging that in there. And I'm gonna give my llama a nice uh, blue teal flower. So you can just make a flower however you want to. And 
and we can add some details later. Let's do that. We're going to take more of the teal and we're just going to make some darker outlines for the petals. If you want, you can have things that shoot off just to make it really frilly. Just like that. And then you could use cream or white to lighten some areas. Just like you did with the teal, you're just going to blend it kind of in to make sure people know those are separate petals. just like that and then if you want you can add some sprigs of white that come off as well there we have it a little llama with a little flower I hope you enjoyed this month's Kids in Canvas online and I'll see you again next month.